Capriello joining us live right now outside of CNN, CNN's L.A. offices with a little more on this story. Really a quick die out. Yeah, it really was right around a one month period, but it's not really coming as a surprise to many people. What's interesting is that this news is also coming down on the same week that Netflix reported losing around 200,000 of its own subscribers. That's a major blow to that streaming giant. But the CNN Plus shutdown doesn't necessarily forecast the end to new streaming services, but rather a strategic consolidation to give viewers better access to their favorite shows. A media misfire in what was expected to be CNN's ravishing rollout of a new streaming service. CNN Plus is shutting down just weeks following its launch, and the network's new parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery, is the one pulling the plug. A substantial blow to some 300 employees hired specifically for the service who are now jobless come April 30th. The Wall Street Journal reports CNN Plus attracted less than 100,000 subscribers during its brief existence. The company stating CNN and its consumers will be best served with a simpler streaming choice. Cord cutting has led many companies to develop tech-savvy services with large libraries and compelling content readily available for consumption. One expert has been monitoring digital trends for close to two decades. He says with an oversaturated media market, we should expect to see more of this. I do think there will be some consolidation in the industry because I think there's just too much choice. There's too many players today, and I think we'll see a reduction of the total number of streamers out there that, that, uh, that are in the industry. CNN Plus staffers took to Twitter to address the shutdown, including ex-MSNBC reporter Casey Hunt, whose show was canceled. She called her team world class and is now advocating for other organizations to take on their talent. Even still, media experts say CNN's failed streaming attempt doesn't dampen the overall platform's progress. It's a growing industry. It just may need to be slightly restructured from where it's been. been in this growth trajectory based on just on content, I think we need to take a you know take this inflection point and think about what what is the right structure and who are the winners and losers really will be and bet on those. As for what's next for the network, what we might see is a combination of programming now that this corporate merger has happened with Warner Brothers Discovery between CNN, Discovery, and HBO Max, which now all fall under the same umbrella. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. Senior reporter at Business Insider Ashley Rodriguez joining me right now. Good morning to you. Good to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.